Now listen, you picked quite an opponent. We got Anderson Silva. What is your opinion of Anderson Silva? Ah, uh, the guy's uh, you know, he's one of the best fighters in the world in our division, so it's only appropriate, you know, I step up the bat. Uh, I've been looking forward to fighting him for a long time. And uh, you know, the shoebox team is you know, they're all dangerous guys and uh, it's a real honor to compete against one of them, especially Anderson. You know, he's, he offers uh, unique challenges. You know? What do you think of Carlos Newton? I think he's a good adversary and I think he's going to be a good fight. The sport of mixed martial arts has truly advanced technically since its spawning in 1993. And now we almost have a throwback to the beginning where we have the grappler in Carlos Newton versus the striker in Anderson Silva. You're absolutely right, but this striker, Anderson Silva, also knows a lot of things on the ground. And vice versa, Carlos improved dramatically in his stand-up game. Anyway, I think key to victory here for Carlos would be take the fight to the ground and the other way around. And I also think one of the keys to victory is for both men, they cannot wait for the other man to dictate the pace of the fight. Carlos has to take it down, as Bob said, but Anderson can't wait. He's got to do his damage and do it quickly. You told me once that you considered yourself to be the Roy Jones of Valitudo. Do you still think you are? Lógico, eu continuo achando e eu acho que sou melhor ainda. Porque eu treino com os melhores do mundo e tenho tenho é, dentro da minha academia a melhor equipe é, que treina tanto em pé quanto no chão e nós já foi comprovado que nós estamos preparados para lutar em qualquer tipo de situação. Now this fight has some meaning. Oh. Anderson Silva from Curitiba, Brazil is reputed to be the best technician standing and on the ground from the shootbox gym. And we know what Carlos Newton is good at. Oh, yes. Submissions on the ground. This is going to be very competitive. We never saw a boring fight with Carlos Newton in it. And pretty much the same with Anderson Silva. Uh, oh. Well, it's going to be great. Carlos Newton fought uh, another shootbox team member in Jose Pele Landi, and that was last year. Pele's not with shootbox anymore, by the way. But, uh, and it was one of the greatest fights that we'd seen. And Newton stayed on the outside and kind of traded a little bit with Pele in that fight. I think that would be a mistake if he fought that way with Anderson Silva. Yeah, because he's, he's got his pinpoint accuracy and he's got long arms. His reach is phenomenal. And he's get, he uses it perfectly, too. Anderson Silva can switch from southpaw to orthodox. And he's got a, he's got a, oh, nice. there's a left hook there by Carlos testing the uh, defense standing of Anderson Silva. But Anderson, he wants to throw that right hand. And there's this, there's this ball back in. Oh, there he got it. Wow, it's like a little cat. He climbs under it and he's got him down. Unreal. That was really quick. And now we're going to see uh, how Anderson Silva can hang with Carlos Newton on the ground. Yeah, because I don't think that Carlos is going to let him get the full guard. I think he's going to keep that foot right there. And he's going to pass it on this side here. I wonder if Anderson expected to go to the ground this quickly. There we go. Go. Yep, he's passing the foot now. There we go. See? Yep, and he passed it. Oh, now, now he's got side mount. Yep, and this is Carlitos' game. Oh, yeah, this is where the armbar is going to come, boss. He did the same move against Pele. Um, Anderson. I think Anderson's got to get back to his feet. I, I know he's good on the ground comparatively, but. 
Carlos is more than just good. Yeah, plus he's got long arms. Long arms, very typical for uh, arm bars. The same with the legs, but lag locks. Really got to get out of here. Look like a cat, like the balance of Carlos. It's unreal. Now he's got the full mount. It's a high mount. And he's got one of uh, Anderson's arms trapped, and there goes the right hand coming down. He's going to go for an arm bar. Watch this. Yes, he is. Uh, Anderson can't post the arms up like that. He's going to set it up with punches, and then out of the blue, bang. Now, but there we go. There we go. He's going to probably get the left arm, Anderson's left arm. There you go. See, he's to catch it already. Oh, good right hand good by Carlos Newton. And Carlos Newton Look. making a move here, but Whoa. Anderson. He's going for the armbar. Look at this. Yeah, he's going for the first yeah, He's going for the hammerlock there for a second. Anderson got the guard. Woo! It is so scary. My heart is beating here. I mean, because we know it's just a matter of seconds before if Carlos wraps you up right, you're going to tap. Look at um, Anderson's legs. He's got it hooked behind his knee. <laughs> his legs are so long, his guard is behind his knee, foot behind his knee, which is a very close guard, <laughs> so to say. But also very easy to break with a neck crank because the stronger he's going to hold it, the more it's going to hurt on his neck. Right. There's Vandalay Silva, the pride middleweight champion, giving instructions to his teammate Silva. Actually, they're not brothers, folks. I think the name Silva is a lot uh, like the name Jones in the United States. Yeah. Smith. Oh, that's in Holland. Smith. Everybody's named Smith. There's a lot of Sebastians in Holland, too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are. Then they call them boss until you move to the United States. And then uh, everything got a... <laughs> match and now my name is certainly sebastian carlos newton uh, and i discussed the fact that if pride did have a third weight division at 185 pounds this would be about as good a title fight as you could have yeah those two are uh, in their weight class the best yeah they really are Very much. i mean if that anderson goes down in weight uh, he's, he's right up there too of course yeah because i think anderson could make 170 also if there were like a fourth division but uh, right now, this would be a non-title fight because there is no 185-pound division currently in the Pride Fighting Championships. But um, this would almost be a throwback type of match because you have a purebred striker in uh, Silva, Anderson Silva, even though he is really good on the ground, against a purebred submission guy in Carlos Newton, even though he did land a left hook standing. Yep. He did good. He sets everything perfectly up. And then he makes Anderson Silva want to come to him. He wants to pay it back, the punch. And that's where the takedown comes. Well, right now, Anderson has momentarily warded off the submissions from Carlos Newton. Yeah, I just wanted to say that Carlos should stretch his right leg. And kept, like, Anderson now tries to pull his uh, left foot in and put it under... Um, the thigh? Yeah, under the thigh, but I I think that's a bad move. That would be do. a bad move. He'd trap himself. Yeah, he'd trap himself, plus... And he could get submitted, yes, actually. With a heel hook, I he, think, he, he like a submit, toe hold. Right, he, he would sit, submit himself almost. Yeah. Because I, I thought that would be a good thing for Carlos to do, catch that foot and bring it forward, you know? This is like an, uh, a scissor effect uh, on the leg of uh, Anderson. Yeah, they got to restart. Is, what referee is this? Okay, this is a different referee. There he is with the black pants. <laughs> yeah, they got to restart. Good, 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 good. Very nice. That okay. is what we want to see. Yeah. Oh, we got a yellow card happening. Anderson Silva gets a yellow card, uh, apparently for stalling. Um, Silva was surprised, and I think... And that was a soft plus position, like you said. I think there's going to be a knee coming. And Silva going to get back in. He wants to do some damage now. You can see it in his eyes. see it in his body language. There's that uh, straight left hand out of the uh, right footed position. And Carlos, very relaxed standing up. He said he was going to bang with the guy if he wanted yeah. to. I don't think that would be a good idea, though. Oh! No way! He's, he's, out, he's out, out! He's out! He's out! He's out! He's out! It was... Oh. Whoa! Whoa! It was not a good idea 
indeed. through a flying knee. And actually it looked like it might have caught him with a shin. But oh my god. That was wow. That was a knockout, folks. That was six minutes. Twenty-six seconds. In the round one, Carlos made the crucial mistake of going to the stand-up well one too many times with Mr. Anderson Silva, the self-reported Roy Jones of mixed martial arts. Oh yes, you can say that again. Accuracy, that's what we were talking about before the match. Accuracy and, he showed it. and mistakes. I think Carlos made a mistake here. He ducked oh. right into it. It was, it, it was like a knee, but it was actually caught him with the, the upper part of the shin. And, wow. Here we go again. Oh my God, yes, the upper part of the shin, which is the hottest part of your shin. And I'll tell you what, Anderson oh, Silva... Oh, it was the... Uh, yeah, going yeah, under the air. It was going to be a flying knee, but it cut him with the shin. Under and the Anderson air. knew exactly what to do and how to finish. I mean, when, when these shoot box guys smell blood, wow. they're on you. They're on you. It was the, the kneecap of my shoulder in this replay behind his ear. Let me see if you're going to see it again. Okay, here we got the Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson thing happening. And uh, Carlos congratulating Anderson. And there's the good sportsmanship between the teams. Anderson Silva. Wow. Very impressive. Like I said, it's not a good idea to stand up with a guy like this at 185. I wouldn't advise it. I don't think there's a fighter at 185 who want to stand up with him. Not, not at long range like that. Wow. That, that flying knee was so fast. Yep. And moments before he made uh, two punches and he bent, Carlos bent his head all the way down. And I just wanted to say that's not a good thing to do. Benji all the way four over and then he did it again. Bang. There was the knee behind his ear from what it seemed to the last replay. Exactly with the recap. Okay, it was a referee stoppage. TKO, round one, six minutes, 26 seconds. And Carlos is perfectly okay. The doctors checked him out, and they checked him out very carefully here. 